Boston is a charming city with a lot to offer, including many jobs, a vibrant cultural life, and many exciting events. While many people move to Boston for jobs, they also want to live in suburbs to get more space and also to get better schools for their children. Today, I'm talking about the best suburbs for children and families in a commuting distance to Boston. It's interesting that unlike any city in US, Boston's population is smaller than the suburbs, about 700,000 people in Boston and 5 million in the metro area. So there are a lot of choices and where to go. I hope I'm gonna help you narrow it down. This is Nune and the Greater Boston Real Estate Show and make sure to stay until the end because I have some bonus information and tap on the bell so you can get notified when the next video comes up. Nuna's Greater Boston Real Estate Show. I gathered data from Google Maps calculating uh, downtown Boston Post Office Square as my destination at 7.30 a.m. Why Post Office Square? Because that is the business nerve center of the downtown. The information about the housing prices comes from MLS and also from Realtor.com. The school information comes from 2020 US News. And interestingly enough, Massachusetts again comes as number one. California comes second and Connecticut comes third as um, it goes with the ranking of high schools. Here are seven best suburbs for working families with children in a short commuting distance from Boston. Belmont, Massachusetts is about 35 minute drive to Post Office Square and is great for commuting families. Check out my video about Belmont on the top. Belmont offers excellent schools and a diverse community. There are 12 schools in Belmont, four elementary schools, one middle, one high school, and six private and charter schools. Belmont High School is ranked number nine in Massachusetts and number 375 in US. Belmont has a lot of single family style homes, very few condominium buildings, and some multifamilies. Most of them were turned into condos over the years. Median home price in Belmont is 1.1 million according to Realtor.com. Arlington, Massachusetts is about 40 minute drive to Post Office Square in Boston. Minuteman bike path runs through Arlington. Arlington offers excellent schools and a diverse community. There are 16 schools in Arlington, seven elementary, one middle school, one high school, and seven private and charter schools. It's ranked as number 23 in Massachusetts and 678 in US. Arlington has a broad mix of housing from middle-class single-family homes to multi-family dwellings and apartment boxes along Mass Avenue. Median home price in Arlington is about 780,000 according to Realtor.com. Lexington is about 35 minute drive to Post Office Square. It is steeped in history, giving the town a lot of character. Every summer, large groups of tourists arrive in tour buses to learn about the Lexington Battle Green, where the first shots of revolution were heard. Lexington homes are beautiful and often have a touch of colonial New England spirit. The wonderful Minuteman bike path also runs right through Lexington. Lexington is much bigger than Belmont, so you might have more choices in sizes and locations of properties to buy. Lexington schools are one of the best in Massachusetts. They are ranked as number seven in Massachusetts and 285th in US. Lexington has mostly single families, very few condominium buildings, and almost no multifamilies. Median home price in Lexington is 1.2 million. Newton, Massachusetts is about 30 minute drive to Post Office Square in Boston. Newton is really several different towns all under one umbrella yet expressing vastly different qualities. Newton offers excellent schools. There are 38 schools in Newton, Massachusetts. 15 elementary schools, 4 middle schools, 2 high schools and 17 private and charter schools. Newton South High School is number 20th in Massachusetts and 664th in US. Newton has a lot of single families, condominium buildings, as well as multifamily. Newton is extremely well located along the Mass Turnpike, just a few miles from Boston. 
Median home price in Newton is 1.1 million, according to Realtor.com. Winchester is about 25 minute drive to Post Office Square in Boston, according to Google Maps. Winchester offers excellent schools. There are 10 schools in Winchester, five elementary schools, one middle school, one high school, and three private and charter schools. Winchester has lots of single family style homes, most of them really large. Brookline, this affluent Massachusetts college town is 35 minutes away from Post Office Square. It has a suburban feel similar to Newton. Brookline is the home of Boston University and Fisher College. The birthplace of President J.F. Kennedy, it, it has also the oldest country club in the nation and is close to the best hospitals in the world, including Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, the Jocelyn Center for Diabetes, and Bath Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Brookline offers excellent schools. Brookline has 30 schools, eight elementary schools, eight middle schools, one high school, and 13 private and charter schools. Brookline has many large single families, a few multifamilies, and some condominium buildings. Western Massachusetts is about 45 minute drive to Post Office Square. It's the furthest from all the towns and makes the cut because of outstanding school system. It's number eight in Massachusetts and 343rd in US. Weston has fabulous homes on multi-acre lots of land, mostly south of Route 20, valued anywhere from two to $10 million each. It has several prestigious golf clubs and is home to Ridges College. Median home price in Weston is 1.3 million, according to realtor.com. Average living square footage is 4,657. Now is the time for the bonus information. If you go to the description box, there is a link, click on it, and you can search for homes in Massachusetts, customize your search, look at big photos. Uh, it's fabulous. So make sure you do that. And you know what to do? Subscribe, like, comment, uh, stay in touch. I have a lot of other videos here. I don't know where they are but click on them and watch the next video.